Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing top five Marvel Disney Plus shows that I am most anticipating. Now, of course, I wanted to do this video after the tremendous amount of news from that Disney investor meeting, and I wanted to do some sort of video for the channel. We are going to be discussing a lot of that Disney news on Comic Frontline this week, so Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. We have our podcast. Again, we'll, we'll be going more into depth with that, but just to discuss the TV shows a little bit and, and to talk about what I'm excited for. Now, number five for me is What If. So this is a show that's been announced since the beginning. And the reason I'm excited, first of all, A, we got a trailer that looks amazing. But B, you know, I've always been a fan of the What If franchise, you know, questioning what could happen if one little thing changed in the Marvel Universe and how that could even create another universe, which we have seen with the likes of Spider-Gwen and, of course, the namesake. We, we had a what-if issue with Spider-Girl, which made 100-plus issues of comics. And, you know, obviously we have a, a lot of huge fans of the MCU, not just as comic fans, but just mainstream fans as well. And to really feel that excitement as a comic fan uh, for the mainstream audience, for their favorite characters, I think is really exciting. And really the reason this is on the list is that it's animated. I think that's really cool, uh, giving a different vibe to the MCU and really being able to do anything with these stories. Now moving on to number four, which is WandaVision. Man, another one after the trailer I'm even more excited for. It's the first one of the Marvel shows being released. It's actually being released in about two weeks. I hope to at least do a pilot review for the show when it does come out. And uh, this one, what I like about it so much is that it's definitely embracing the comics of the Tom King Vision comic. And I love stories that could kind of break reality. You don't actually know what's going on. And I think two characters from the MCU that didn't get enough love and really do deserve a show is Scarlet Witch and Vision. They, they definitely have a lot of big moments to happen in the movie, but obviously it's a movie and an Avengers movie. There's a lot of characters you have to explore. So there's nothing like a TV show and serialized medium where you could really dig deeper into these characters. Now, moving on to number three, which is She-Hulk. Man, I've been stoked for this show since it's been announced. Uh, we didn't get too much new information besides just the confirmation, confirmation of uh, who is playing She-Hulk. And this one, I feel like out of all the shows, maybe next to Moon Knight, is going to be as much as a Netflix vibe as... Jessica Jones and, and Daredevil, hopefully. I don't know if it's going to get as gritty, but I do think it's going to be darker than, let's say, Miss Marvel. Uh, so I, I also just love She-Hulk as a character. I think she's someone who definitely deserves more love in the comics. And, you know, she has on again, off again, ongoing series. Uh, and what's cool about her is that she's a Hulk that actually could control her emotions. And she's not like her cousin Bruce. So I, I like that she's very different from Bruce other than just the name. Uh, her Hulk is a very different journey and actually gives her confidence as a character. And I, I want to see that plain Jane aspect of the character and how she she balances this with being this kind of beautiful Hulk uh, and if that's going to be a part of the story. So moving on to number two, which is Hawkeye. Uh, man, I love Kate Bishop and that is definitely the reason this is on the list. I think even in the comics, Kate Bishop makes Hawkeye an even better character. Uh, Matt Fraction's run on Hawkeye is such a good comic and I'm so glad it seems like they're really embracing that comic and uh, introducing finally Kate Bishop to uh, the MCU as we do have characters kind of related to her generation in here as well like Cassie Lang is uh, definitely going to be a main character of Ant-Man 3. Probably going to see her as stature in that movie or Stinger, either direction they'll go with it. And we do have some more different generation or younger generation heroes coming out like Miss Marvel and Ironheart. Uh, so I'm excited to see what the young heroes, the young Avengers are going to do in the future of the MCU. Will we get a young Avengers TV show? Will we get a movie? There's got to be some young Avengers stuff uh, dealt here because we also have Kang the Conqueror, who's going to be in the Ant-Man movie, who was a part of the, the Young Avengers. We had a version of Kang. So that's my number two, mostly for Kate. I'm very excited. Now, moving on to number one, I've already mentioned it a couple of times in this video, Miss Marvel. I am a humongous, humongous Kamala Khan fan, and it really feels like, once again, it's embracing the comics. Just from that trailer, you could really see a lot of the tidbits that were touched upon in issue one coming to life with Miss Marvel. I'm also really excited for a supporting cast. I always said I wanted Miss Marvel to be a TV show because kind of like Spider-Man, I think she works best when she's interacting 
practicing with her other high school students, Zoe, Nakia, um, Bruno. And I think that's what really embraces Miss Marvel is that she is a regular girl with friends who goes to school who so happens to be a superhero and a comic book nerd. And I'm just so excited for the world to to see her and, and learn more about her. As comic fans, we know how great she is. And I hope as mainstream fans, people really find uh, why we fell in love with her so quickly, really with just one issue, and then continue to fall in love with her uh, through, what, her five plus year journey at this point. And then also she's going to be in the Captain Marvel movie. So I love that this is all, all going to be very connected. Uh, but that's my most excited show uh, is Miss Marvel. Let me know in the comments below. There obviously was a lot of other shows announced as well, like Loki, and we have uh, the, the Winter Soldier slash Falcon show coming up. We have Seeker Invasion. So there's a lot of cool shows, which I wish I could put on this list, but it was a top five. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. Definitely follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Go check out my comics like Father Like Daughter and They Call Her The Dancer. And again, Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time is Comic Book Weekly, where we discuss comic book news and our favorite comics of the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed.